Do not ever work with the orchard. Do not do it. Do not work with orchard music or Sony music. They will steal from you. They will mess your livelihood up. That is the message for today's video. And I'm doing something that I warned every company about four months ago. If you steal from me, I am going to hit you back. I'm going to expose your bad practices and I'm going to put a video up like this, which will dominate search results as one other company has already found and which will reflect badly on you and it will never, ever, ever come down. And I'm doing this because I'm tired. I'm tired of people taking advantage of me. I'm tired of people stealing from me. I'm tired of people screwing over creators through YouTube's broken systems. So this is something I've been dealing with for over five years and it happens several times a year. What happens is a music rights management, like in this case The Orchard, will begin to falsely claim my intro and outro music, which is the song Resonance by Randy Goff of Home. Randy, by the way, is an excellent guy. He gave me explicit permission to use it in my videos and I've been doing so for the better part of seven years. What happens, however, is that these pariah companies like Orchard Enterprise or Orchard Music, who again, you should not work with, sign artists. And these artists will often make crappy remixes of Home. In this case, this musician uploaded what's essentially the song with quotes from Sun Tzu put over it. That's all. The Orchard provides that to YouTube. It gets a thousand views, but more importantly, the YouTube copyright management system begins working for them and they start to claim any video which uses that original music. That means that my back library slowly starts to get claimed. So far in a couple of days, I've had about 80 videos and many recent from my backlog claimed, and that's a serious amount of money that I am losing. Now, can I dispute those claims? Yes, and the money is put basically in escrow, but it's awarded to the winner. The problem is when one of my videos is claimed, I both lose control of how many ads are placed on it. It could be none. It could be so many that it's unconscionable. And it's just straight up not possible for one person to keep up with this automated process. Every time I dispute a claim, I have to go through a legal form on YouTube. What's insane is that this is not the first time The Orchard has done this to me. Back in 2022, I had a very similar issue where they just mass claimed many of my videos to the point where I couldn't keep up. In that case, it was hundreds of videos which they claimed for me and I was only able to get any sort of result it's because I'm a big enough influencer, again, air quotes, to make a stink. There's so many major issues here. There's no incentive to stop these mass copyright flagging events when a song improperly enters a management company's system. The benefit for them is they get the money from my videos that they claim. The downside is even when they're wrong, nothing happens. They don't even have a realistic way for me to get in contact with them. I called Sony Music. The Orchard is a Sony Music company. There is, of course, no number for the the Orchard directly and the lady on the switchboard when I asked to speak to either The Orchard or Sony Legal gave me the number for and I'm not joking customer support for Sony Electronics so if your TV stops working you'd call the number she gave me that should not be legal the only way you can actually get in contact with them is on their website through a form which of course I filled out they never get back to you I got an email that I found on their Twitter they don't get back to you they don't care and if you're a musician you should not want to work with these people People. There's no doubt this is scummy, terrible behavior, and they stink. There's also realistically just no way for me to prevent income loss as this is happening. I've put out, according to Social Blade, 1,800 videos on the Eckhart's Ladder channel. I'd say 75% of them use that music. There's also videos on X2, Xclip, my other channels. I just cannot keep up with their barrage of claims, especially when they come in the morning. And even if it's only in their system for a day, that's a day of revenue that I'm not getting that doesn't doesn't go towards me and my kids and my employees that instead goes towards them and it's complete and utter nonsense they need to pay I have in my inbox literally hundreds of emails from YouTube which contain the word orchard music each one of those emails is orchard taking advantage of a broken copyright system fraudulently to no punishment there's no reason for these asshole musicians to not make some shitty copy of resonance and submit it into the digital rights management system because there's no punishment. It's not just Orchard, though, as a Sony Music subsidiary, they're one of the worst, completely without any sort of human face, completely beyond any sort of punishment that I or anyone else can hope to dish out. There are some okay ones. For example, in 2023, I was dealing with a similar issue from a company known as A Loaded. I tweeted about
about them and tagged them. They fixed it pretty quickly and they told me, hey, we've removed the reference file from the content ID system. Your claim should be released and it won't happen again. Okay, great. Now, of course, it restarted actually this very month before this nonsense, February 8th. I said, hey, the claims have started again. Remove it now. They said, we're sorry. It happened again. You know, even in a good situation, it's still crap. Like it's still terrible, but at least it's somewhat better. Anyway, as I mentioned earlier, this is the second time I've had to do a video like this. Actually, it's more than the second time, but it's the second time I've done a video in this format. The first time was when I said, don't ever work with Fuga Music. Uh, they called them out for similar nonsense. And you know what? Now, and I've checked this from different devices, incognito mode, secure browsers. When you search Fuga Music, that video saying how crappy they are, and they are crappy, is one of the first results, if not the first results, at least in videos. It always comes up on the first page. So everyone who looks up their shitty brand sees that video. And I will never, ever take that down. In fact, every time this happens, I take one of my big videos from the past, one that has over a million views, lots of, you know, weight within the YouTube system. And I also change the name of that to don't ever work with X, Fuga Music in the case I gave earlier. I know what I'm doing with SEO. I know how to make things appear. So I'm going to do that and that's forever. And now today we're adding a second company to the list. I will say it again so YouTube can understand my voice. They can add it to the transcript. Do not ever work with the orchard. Don't do it. They're going to release all my claims eventually. They've even released some already. It kept the claims. That's like a recognition that, hey, we're in the wrong here, but our systems don't care. Doesn't matter. This video is staying up. They can go to hell. I hope people see this and recognize that they stink. And you guys, as my fans, feel free to let them know. Don't harass any actual person who works with them. But if you want to boost this video, if you want to share this video, hey, that helps a lot. Right now, honestly, I'm getting this video to above eight minutes because I think it'll perform even better like that. I'm also going to monetize it, not because I'm going to donate to charity, but because I want it. They're going to claim it. I'm going to use resonance throughout. They're going to claim it. I want the money. I feel like I'm going insane here. I'm so tired of having to deal with this. I should be able to use music. You should be able to license music on YouTube. Like it's, it's basic. Anyway, like I said, share, whatever. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.